I'm crazy. I'm on my mind. I think I'm crazy. I'm on my mind. I think I'm crazy. I hate Maudine anyway. From when you met Trippy Red, and that was it. Today we have a very exciting video and at the same time I'm still very disappointed. Today we're talking about this TikToker extraordinaire Chelsea Liar. If you weren't there for my last video you won't understand why I'm truly disappointed in the fact that Chelsea Liar has not been banned off the platform. Not only TikTok but every platform that she resides on because last time we covered some disgusting antics and some horrible sentiments expressed towards her own children. But we're gonna move past that even though we really shouldn't so that's why I wanted to really keynote it at the very top of this video to really push the fact that I do not condone anything that Chelsea Liart has said and in fact I'm vehemently against her even having a platform in the first place so we're not gonna forget what she did because it seems like most her fans are willing to just ignore it. Now I'm not sure what that says about her fan base, the people on TikTok, or just society in general, but we're just gonna use that as a launching pad to really get into what's happened this week. And if you didn't know, one of our favourite entertainers, HS Tiki Toki, well, he's decided to curate a boxing event. Now you think this might be very professional, live stream with the highest quality cameras, maybe even its own commentators box, maybe even a pay per view. So let's see how Chelsea Liar gets ready for this event. It's a bit big though, don't you think? That's not the only thing that's big. Now, I'm not sure who she's trying to impress here. The audience, Modine, or HS Tiki Toki. But let me just say, the fact that the world has just moved past all of those things that Chelsea Liart did that we covered in our last video on this person, I really am so... I'm so flabbergasted that TikTok allow her to have her own platform. Not only her own platform, I see that she's actually got multiple accounts. So if one gets banned or timed out, she can just hop over to the other one. I feel like TikTok really needs to sort that out. Maybe use like some sort of IP banning or something. It's crazy that you can just evade the system like this. And it seems that people that are on TikTok that usually have something good to say that is actually in the way of real political activism, they just get shunned off the platform. They just get completely banned off it for way less than what Chelsea Liart has done. Now I'm not gonna let anyone forget that but that wasn't the first outfit that she tried on. It's actually crazy that she is proud to represent Modine when she is clearly Modine's side piece. This can't be Modine. I can't go to the door like this. Have I done this the wrong way? <laughs> I got it from mom. Maybe that goes down now. You embarrass yourself enough. You know what I mean? Uh, so let alone rock it up to the door in whatever that is. It's like, it's like Spider-Man has just drawn some like patterns. It's crazy. I, I like, oh man, it's, it's hot. It's, it's, it's like she's so blissfully unaware that she has to parade herself like this. Now, later on in that video, we're going to get into her inability to have some sort of social etiquette around her. It's crazy what she does. But first of all, if you're new here, please drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to, click that share button, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for 3000 subscribers. I really do appreciate every single one of you who's new here. And I hope to see you all stick around. Oh yeah. Be like, hello, Dominic. Are you not ashamed of yourself? That's what I'm thinking. Are you not ashamed of yourself? It is completely, it's shameless. It really is. There's no decorum. There is no decorum. Maybe the event is much bigger than even I anticipated because we see for this fight that even the likes of big kick streamer Aiden Ross is watching. No? Should I not stream that then? I'm telling you, that's gonna go crazy, bro. This is like a multiverse level event. The fact that Aiden Ross has crossed streams with the same vicinity that Chelsea Liart resides. It really does blow my mind that this community is thriving as it is. I, I absolutely hate the idea that she is amongst all those people and they've just all given her a free pass. It really is disgusting. But because she's got roots, darling, and um, whatever, they want to use her for her, for her views, her clout or whatever. It's, it's disgusting. The self-hate is disgusting. Pre-fight 
Oh, yeah, you, you know man don't play when they're turning up in a lot. There, there she is. There she is. Right on the corner there in front of 35,000 people sucking up all the energy she can and like it's crazy that you see the same people that she is willing to diss not only that she's she's willing to be vehemently racist against her own children and you think that she has any respect for anyone there no she doesn't i don't know why she was invited there i don't know why modine even tolerates the fact that she's there i don't know why anyone tolerates the fact that she's there and it wouldn't surprise me to see her being kicked out <laughs> I'm saying it's a weird atmosphere. You want your own? <laughs> Man's actually wham, to be fair. Give us a front double bicep, Shan. <laughs> <laughs> This is literally like HS Tiki Toki has set up his own fight club. Except instead of not telling anyone about it, he's broadcasted it to over 36,000 people. But alas, HS Tiki Toki is not the focus of this video. We are focused on Chelsea Lee Art's perspective. Now you see her there, right next to the corner of the ring. You see her holding her phone up, live streaming the whole thing. Because of course, what else is she good for? She's like, don't film, I'll film. <laughs> So she's already been told to stop filming because I guess it's HS Tiki Toki's event and you know we, we, he doesn't want anyone clout farming. I don't know. Or some random worker just told her to stop. But look at look look. There is no there is no emotion behind those eyes. It is it is like there's no love there. It's just a it's a serpentine creature crawling through a pineal gland. There that is it's it's you can tell that thing is from another world. It's not from this planet. She's so rude, isn't it? There you go. Already threatening violence. Already with those crazy eyes that she likes to say. Roots, darling. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. As I said, this person is worse than any of the other people we've covered on this channel. Uh, I'm allowed to feel. Of course I'm allowed to feel. Do I want? When I want. I'm more famous than anyone in this place. More famous than anyone in this place. I don't think you're more famous than HS Tiki Toki, but whatever, whatever. That is, it's, uh, it's just the narcissism kicking in. And the roots, you've got no roots. There are no roots. There's not an ounce of root in you. There's nothing there. I'm really sorry. I, th this person, this person actually, this person angers me. HS Tiki Toki, he didn't even know who I was. I was like, he's like, I've got millions of views. I've got billions of views. He's like, Billions of views. He's like, really? I was like, cool, sweet. Oh. Yeah, he didn't know who you were because you're irrelevant. You're an irrelevant thing who only utilizes TikTok and that's it. No one knows who you are. You beg, there's nothing. There's no talent there. There's nothing. All you are is Modine's side piece. And I hope you see that. I hope you see that. And the fact that you can be so openly racist to the people that you're supposed to care the most for, it's disgusting. And the fact that there's not one ounce of guilt there, the fact you're still on there, the fact that you're even given this platform, it really, it disgusts me with the whole planet to be honest like, are you for real i'm more famous than you sweetheart you've never won the uk leaderboard i've won it three times darling the uk leaderboard on tiktok where you beg and beg and beg we've seen that you cheat we see that you buy your own gifts or whatever to ascend those leaderboards that you should have no pride about that at all. You've only ascended to that level by saying the most disgusting stuff imaginable and that's it. The, pe the only reason people take to you is because you say crazy things and that probably speaks to something internal in them that they just can't get out. 45k on my life getting my roots done. Uh, hello darling. Hello. Can you see me? I'm that in your place and I'll get up in your face because I don't care what they say. And another thing. The reason TikTok rewards these kind of people is because it's owned by a foreign body that wants to make us in the UK absolutely stupid. All right, that's it. That's all it is. All right, so I wouldn't feel any ounce of pride about it at all because it's clear that TikTok just rewards the most stupidest, most degenerate behavior ever. I'm not in the place and I'll say what I say because I don't care what they say. I'm not in that place Chelsea, really and I'm not no fucking hey, listen, Chelsea's gonna walk me out today she's a real one yeah <laughs> I swear to god bro this is this you is... better knock that guy out man you smell like lamb oh my I god I smells like lamb like... she's a real one she's a real one like and then she just instantly disses you mate 
She's got no ounce of respect for you at all, Modine. All right, I want you to get that in your head. She's just there for the clout. She's just there to reap anything, any scrap of audience that you have. And that's it. That's it. If anything, I would say the complete opposite. But you know, you do you, man. You do you. Just wait for her to just directly insult you and see what you do about it, man. You'll probably just cave in because she's probably only good for one thing, you know? Look at those crazy, crazy eyes. Please keep me in a, a hundred foot distance away from this person at all times. You know what? I, I would I would probably get a restraining order against this person without even meeting them. Genuinely. <laughs> Have you been Chelsea? Yeah, not bad. I'm trying to lose weight on that now. Yeah, you're gonna get that fight. Huh? You're gonna get that fight. You didn't wanna punch up. Uh, you didn't wanna punch up. So many people. So many people. Uh, who's done them? Done them in the chat. Uh, who do you guys wanna see? So who do you guys wanna see Chelsea fight? You guys want to see Chelsea fight? Yeah, no, get Chelsea in the ring. Get Chelsea in the ring because she's got a big mouth. I would love to see her battle whoever she wants to battle. Perhaps even Evil Queen, as we'll get into later on in this video. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big boss. This is the big boss. It's a Rick Ross. DJ Carly. I forgot the fucking selfie. Feeling good, yeah? Confident. There he is, there he is, like just he's smiling, he's reaping all the benefits off this, he, he's, he doesn't even know who Chelsea Lee Art is, and he's just like, what are you doing recording? Please don't record my face, you crazy, crazy person. <laughs> Alright, there we go, just... Openly just body shaming people, it's fine. You know, it's definitely not the pot call of the kettle black there. You know, it's, it, it really is confusing, this specimen here. I honestly don't understand why anyone is friends with her. And I don't think anyone truly is friends with her. I think they're only friends with her because they see some sort of benefit that they can reap either from her audience or from something else. Everyone get away from the reach. Oh, yeah. This is a mad Mate, and it's mad that anyone's just willing just to anyone's willing just to suck up to her just for an uh, ounce of, ounce of, ounce of clout, just a tiny just a tiny bit. Oh, she's oh no, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really starting, really tough, darling. Get me up to 40k, sweetheart. Let me have more views than all of them. <laughs> nah, it's it's mad. That's it. That's all. That's all they care about. That's all. It's all about. It's just about the views, the clout, the money. Nah, nah, nah. They all forget. They all forget what horrible, horrible person Chelsea Lee Art really is. Everyone just forgets about all these comments. And I, I, to be honest, I don't even know if half of them even know who she is. Genuinely, they just see her live stream and check out anything. How many people she's got in it? Oh, 35k. Wow. Yeah, because they're not. They're not definitely artificial inflated numbers are they? But that's it, that's all she does. She just goes around just insulting people, just lightly insulting people, see if they'll take it and then you know when they probably bite back on it, she just blows up on them. <laughs> Affected. And then she uses that catchphrase. Affected, you're affected. She'll just say the most obscene, disrespectful thing and then just be like, and if you react to it, oh, you're affected. There's no value in watching this content. Modine is like the best looking guy in the whole place. Modine's the best looking guy in it. It's just definitely just to elevate your own ego there. It's like, that's just a complete lie. It's just a complete lie to make yourself feel better. It really is insane how these people's minds work. I like the same. It's all right. Um, how many you got on there? Uh, 
8.6. I'm trying to run it up to 40, isn't it? Thank you, guys. Come on, get me down to popular number one right now. That's it, there's no emotion there. It's just, get me down to number one right now. And it looks like she's pinging. It looks like she's pinging, to be honest. It looks like she's on something. It's it's mad, it's mad. Uh, everyone just send the heart me. Share the live. I'm at the boxing with HS Tiki Toki. Share the live. Fucking tap the hell out of the screen. Let's go. Heart me's, I need heart me's. Heart me's, heart me's, heart me's. Share the live, tap the screen, let's get to a million. You're out in the real world and you're so invested in this NPC world that you're like, heart me's, I need, I need heart me's, heart me's. What, what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Who wants to do timekeeping? We need someone else to do it, timekeeping. Timekeeping. Oh, yeah. I need a joint. Oh, God, it's so embarrassing in the UK. I can't wait to get to the US, though. She's fiending in a public event, you know, supposed to be supporting her, supporting her mate, and all she can think about is, oh, I need a joint. I need a joint. I need a joint. And then she's just pulling these faces, which I think is a hallmark of some sort of disorder, to be honest. I genuinely believe that she is half as insane as she likes to say she is. Uh, but it doesn't mean that she should be allowed on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly 9k on the live, let's go, Roots. Roots, darling, boy, up. Hey, listen, it's the reunited. Uh, We're reunited. Come, come, Shane, come, Shane. Hey, it's the, what do you call it? Reunion. This is the. Uh, on, uh, on, 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 no way. <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Who is that in the background? This is a man that we are yet to cover, but. But you can't, but you can't mistake that smile for anyone, man. Like. <laughs> What is this? This is like, this is a reunion. This is a reunion of the Suicide Squad of flipping TikTok. Now, if you want us to cover anyone in that frame, be it Bevo, Modine, I'm not sure who that lady is. So please comment down below if you do know who that lady is. But that man in the background is, is none other than the, you know the rules, himself. Wow. I can't believe that this, that this community is thriving and festering as much as it is. Please, whoever's in charge of TikTok, please give the UK a break. Please, please, just, 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 like, give rise to someone, someone talented. Anyone, please. <laughs> this is one year later, one year later. Yeah, one year later. <laughs> we're still alive, alhamdulillah, thank God we're still alive. <laughs> and people, we've got people as well. We know the rules, guys. <laughs> yes, Chelsea. This is the gang right here, fish and chips, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my ah. god, this is so funny, man. Has anyone got a phone? Come on, I have an oven. Yeah, laugh, laugh, laugh at them directly to what a oh, fiending, just probably fiending for another joint, man. It's just too long to come here. My mate's too pretty. Are you mad? Yeah. Everyone's getting searched. Everyone's getting searched. No one needs to write their name. I've got an iCloud. I've got someone in the underway. Nobody can leave yet. Everyone come inside. We're going to search everyone. Everyone's getting searched. People don't need to get searched. This guy's famous, bro. Only the famous people cannot get searched. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you don't have to get searched. <laughs> Are you like more famous than me? <laughs> no, you're actually ever in America. I'm sitting in America. Well, that's right. You're all right, brother. Yes, my G. Do you want a favor for me? Yeah. Someone must do say hi to you. You say hello. Yeah. All right. It's, go on. Yeah. Name's Maria. Maria. Booyaka, Maria. Hello, gorgeous. A root starling. Thank you so much. Is that all right? Crazy. It's a circus in there. It's an absolute circus in there. I I could not imagine just being I may I'd be in some corner somewhere hiding. And oh man, it really is. It's mad. It's maddening to think that this was going on at, at some point in the same country as me. <laughs> Fighting. Yeah, I'm 43. I'm not fighting no one. Yeah, but you can verbally abuse your own children. I look 30. You don't look a day over 30. Oh, look, he said I don't look a day over 30. No. Oh, thank you, mate. Mate, he doesn't know. He does not know the things that you said about your own kids the other day. He does not know, and and I hope I hope he doesn't know because if he's <laughs> like, if he's self-respected, he would not be I I he would not want to be on that camera. 
He's just give it, giving this validity to... Uh, it's just mad. Just don't give validity to this thing. Don't. And this is a warning to anyone out there. Do not, do not interact with CLA. <laughs> I should start going asking everyone. <laughs> How old do you think I look? Not a day over 23. No, oh, I love you, darling. What a legend. Jay Moss looks tiny to this guy, man. Bebo's girl, Bebo's girl wants to get a picture of you because you're so famous. She's so famous. Yeah, huh? okay. Can I have a picture? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> famous people want to get a picture with the famous girl. But you should have got Cheyenne to walk you out. I don't know why you're chilling with her and not me. I'm gonna go. I'm going. Bitch. He's a, he's a brilliant. He's always moved from me, man. Like, I don't know what the problem is. No, 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 He's disrespectful. Roots. I'm gonna go, you know. Roots. Get me an Uber. Roots. I'm going. I'm going. Bless Modine, man. He's, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to say. He's like, oh, I was just, I was just, I was just conversing with people. Yeah, no, I, I, mate, I would not. I would not worry about it. Let her go. Let it go. Let her get in the Uber and just disappear, man. Just, mate. I'm going to go, man. I want a joint, man. I've come here. I've got no weed, nothing, darling. No one's giving me no... Everyone's broke. I don't want to... I'm not broke. Are you mad? She's Chelsea. Hello, where's the green? This guy said he's got some. Oh. <laughs> So it just, that's crazy. Just completely fiending and then instantly, look, just like flipping out like, oh, oh, I need, I need, I need, I need this, I need that. Look, he's got some exposing HS Tiki Toki. I don't know if that's just racial profiling again or he actually did say that he's got some. But man, what? What? Uh, just uh, causing a whole scene. Do not invite this person to your events. Do not. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd put her on the ban list. Just like Alphaba. Alphaba's there. Put CLA there as well. Oh, darling! Oh, affected, I darling! Nostrils, yeah? Yeah, she's the one affected this time. She's the one affected and no one's even done anything! They're all off f***ing nostrils, you darling! Nostrils! Yeah, you'll have all the Are you gonna walk me out or not? Yes! And then do you hear, like, everyone goes silent. Everyone goes quiet there. That is crazy. It's a tough predicament that uh, Mr. Modine is in, and I hope I hope uh, he finds he finds his safety soon, well away from this from this person. Modine, you could Modine, come on, man, stop stop degrading yourself like that. Taking the pockets, nostrils, you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, if you keep shouting, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go. Get out of here. And the funny thing is, should I tell you what? Fun fact: I've actually seen Modine on the streets of London. He's like a character that just spawns in and just walks around. I was not actually that aware that he was that linked to Chelsea Liart. But uh, friend, please run away as fast as you can. It's mad. Should I tell you what it's like? Should I tell you what it's like? Look at this. Look at this. It's literally like... It's literally like that Black Mirror episode. It's like that Black Mirror episode where she's putting the glass thing and everyone's like recording her or like everyone's like recording her in the uh, in that little simulation thing. That's what it's like. It's so weird. It's just so weird, man. The TikTok error is just... is just... Oh, gosh. I, I can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> Bridget, my mate Natalie's too, she's too pretty to come here. She's too... She's gonna come with you? She's on her way, man, but she's too pretty, man. Do you understand? My girl's like, hey, like... Yeah, my mate's coming, but she's more penga than any girl in London, so I don't know what to do. Trust me, man. It's like, pictures, darling. Oh, it's just... It's, it's, it's like, it's like, um, it's like taking pictures with the freak at the circus. I just, I just don't understand it. I really don't. Oh, hello, Pulley. Oh, nice to meet you. You look even Oh, Ellis, he's lovely. You look beautiful in your life. Yeah, no, I like you. I like you too, don't worry, Chelsea. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah, man, I can't watch this. It's just everyone just suck it up. Like, oh, you got views, oh, you got this. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Enough of that. Let's just get into the main event. Let's see, let's see Modine. Let's see, let's see Modine versus General G, the fight. Let's just get into it. Why not? Why not? On the spectrum. 
very severe. Did he say? Uh, did you say we've got two on the spectrum? Crazy, crazy. That was the hell. That was the hell. All right, let's get this bike moving. 121k in here. 121,000 people. Wow. All right, let's just start the fight. Start the fight. All right, let's. I think my hands are shaking, you know. I think my hands are shaking. Mate, everyone's so excited, even the cameraman's hands are shaking. That's crazy. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try to keep this as still as possible. Main event, General D versus Mo D. It might be one, one minute round, it might be two, we don't know yet. Back Come on. Oh, I'm excited to see this. I am definitely excited to see this. Right, hedge your bets. Who's going to win? I think I think Modine's going to win this one, personally, against uh, General G, to be honest. I mean, look at look at those legs there. Look at those legs. They're, they're, they're ready to snap. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's got the windmill technique going on there. It's just, that's it. That's, that's his method. Fair play. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, the, the duck. Oh, no, crazy. You know what? Maybe maybe Chelsea Lee Art blessed him there. Maybe Chelsea Lee Art really gave him, gave him the power, gave him the confidence, gave him, gave him the motivation that he really needed to win this fight. Another hit, another hit. It's just, it's just a complete, it's a complete whirlwind of fury from Modine over here. General G can't even handle it. Look at him, look at him. His face is merged into one. Hey, General don't know where he is. General don't have a clue where he is. Oh my God, what have I just witnessed? General, deep breath, mate. General, General, General. Hey, General, come here, come here. Hey, call him up, call him up. Hey, General, see where he was, call that round. Cause he's in uh, 10 second count, 10 second count. We're gonna start that run. All right, we're start that run. All right, 25 seconds. All right, Jemmel. Jemmel, come this is the most underground operation I've ever seen. This is definitely the most DIY boxing event that I've seen between celebrities or like internet influencers or whatever in my whole entire life. If like YouTube boxing kind of looks semi-professional and then we've got this TikTok boxing, man, what is going on? Keep your head on. All right, calm down. Look at his eyes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 shit. It just looks like it's like Modine did not go in there to play any games. As soon as the round starts, he's just in there. He's just in there, whirlwinding, windmilling. And and I don't, General G just clearly just can't stand a chance here. What What is going on? Oh, oh shit. I'm cool it. Cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. Oh no! Oh, I call it, call it, I call it. I call that mate, call that, call that, call that. He's done. Get Chevrolet out of there. It's a massacre. Get him out of there, please. Save him. Not to carry on. Do you want to carry on? Do you want to carry on? No, do you want to carry on? It's not over. How, how are you feeling, mate? Oh, that was a serious No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Hey. How are you feeling? He's calm. Kendall's calm. Kendall's calm. This is embarrassing. This is completely embarrassing. This is... This is crazy. I, I can't believe... There's 126,000 people watching this. We need saving. We need saving out here. Hey, look it. Fight's done. Fight's done. Hey, bro, bro, be real with this fight. Mo Modine was the winner, innit? Modine won. That's it, bro. Yeah, yeah, done, 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 done. Wow, it was over just as fast as it begun. And I've got to respect HS Tiki Toki, you know, looking after his mate. Fair enough. You know, like, you cannot let General G get massacred like that. Yeah, that was enough. Yeah. Modine, I think Modine has been in a lot of street scraps. I think his story, his story is is one from rags to riches. So, yeah, going against General G, who was just found off, found off anywhere, like, going up against Modine, who clearly has had some life experiences. Yeah, that was an unfair battle to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Yeah, only because we didn't even want to put you in another round. You don't need to, like. 
That was good. That was a real good performance. You've done yourself massively proud. Well, honestly, well, well, both of you, sir. Both of you. Misfits. Misfits, mate. He's completely out of it. He's completely out of it. That was a good call to end that fight there. Genuinely. That was a good call to end that fight there. Uh, there we have our winner, HS Tiki Toki, who was walked by the one and only Chelsea Liart. But still, even after begging for gifts, shouting out the whole event, whatever, let's see what Chelsea got up to after the boxing event. He's got a restaurant out there as well. Big nasty. And Pot Potter's Pepper, he's just opened a place in uh, with Nave Smalls in Tenerife. I might open up a smoke cafe as well and get get my sons to go and run it but yeah i was thinking I, i'm gonna open up a business i want like a business or something either in california i'm gonna get pitch or summer i'm doing summer it's crazy that she's just allowed to get away with all this stuff and i really think it's just tiktok milking her for every ounce of whatever they could get and then influencing our society over here with just the most degenerate stuff that they can give us it's, it's sickening it's sickening we need we need some we need some mathematicians out there we need some builders we need some we need some musicians we need talent we need talent I, i'm so sad i'm so sad that this is the way that everything's ended up mm, i want to go to america man it's dead here man and i've got to go with modine and of course there's going to end be entertainment and this watch when i get rid of my violations you know what let them all just fuck off now because i'll just roll on my own like i do anyway i'm a real g even more dean's guys they know what time of day is they're like yo chelsea's a real g she like that's what i mean even marketing he's bigging me up to fucking hs tiki toki hs tiki toki is going on like you don't even know who i am oh you get millions of views you because then he's told me about they've took away the hashtag but i don't understand because he still shows on my other phone man the only reason they're saying, oh, you're a real G, you're a real one, is because they are scared of you. They're scared that you just might flip out if they don't say something nice to you because they've seen how you behave. And I don't think your sons will run anything for you without robbing you blind. They, they deserve it. They deserve to actually use your money and actually curate their own business and actually, you know, live a prosperous life away from you. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna show you, but I don't understand. They took it away. Oh, my days. <laughs> Look, and she's so upset about a hashtag. Look, oh, pulling faces over a hashtag. What? This is a 43-year-old woman, and she's crying over a hashtag. I don't understand, man. I don't understand where we're at in society, genuinely. They took it away. But there's only three videos on it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> What was what what was the need for doing that? Just flipping, just flipping for like from like thing to thing. Like what what was why? What was the requirement? And why is everything pink? Why have you got? Oh man, this is it is really the hallmark of a of a just a, a crazy being here. <laughs> But my hair looks banging like this. I don't even need to wear the head scarf. There's not an ounce of talent. It's just doing random things. It's like, oh, look, I'm putting the tea bag to my eye. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's no commentary. There's nothing. There's no insight. It's just, it's just looking at this, like, artifact. Just, like, mess around. I can't, I can't believe it. I'm crazy. I'm at my mind. I think I'm crazy. I'm not, I'm not, I think I'm crazy. I hate Maudine anyway. From when you met Trippy Red, I, that was it. What? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I would not deal with this. I would not deal with this if I was you, Modine. Please, man, keep yourself safe. You, you think someone's your mate? You think they're walking you out in the ring for your big fight? And then the next day, there's a live stream being like, I hate Modine anyways. What? What? Oh, man. I should have kicked him just for that video. And then he had Neo that was there. Oh, Neo. Yeah, Modine. It makes her, like, I said... That's it, I'm done with him. I don't care. He fought for you. He fought for you. He went into that ring for you. He did that for you and now you just discarded him? Oh man, poor Modine, man. What's going on? And then and then we're gonna have Chelsea Lee up being like, I don't care about anyone. I don't care about anyone about, apart from myself. Yeah, we know. We know. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, 
Now I'm going to go to Eminem just to piss him off. So when I'm with Eminem, he's like, oh my God, she's with Eminem. Then he'll be one of my best friends and I'll say, fuck you. Bitch. Delusion. Delusion. No one sees Eminem. Let alone you. This is the second time she's mentioned Eminem. I can't, I, I, she, does she mention Eminem all the time? Eminem, like, are we talking about the sweets here? Are we talking about the red Eminem? I don't know what, what <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm with a real G now. <laughs> then Eminem will just come out, I'm vanilla baby. But Eminem is not my type, see, I like the Arab man. But the Arab men in fucking Dubai and Saudi are just like, they're too pretty, you know. But they're more on my level, I mean... Just, I'm sorry, what, just more delusion, just more delusion. I can't even get over it. It's, it's, it really is. It's a spectacle to see and for all the wrong reasons. It really is. <laughs> but then they're not going to understand me. They're not going to get me. That's me putting down my worth again. You know, oh yeah, no Arab guy's ever going to want me. Because you've got some dusty English girl, you know. <laughs> Like, that's not what you are. What is going on? It's just utter projection. Utter projection all the time. Just always dissing other people. But it's like not looking at yourself. It really is. It's, it's mad. I don't understand what the value is in consuming this content. And I recommend anyone who consumes this content to switch it around and create content. That's all I'll say. We're literally watching someone make a cup of tea. We're watching someone make a cup of tea, diss a bunch of people, make a bunch of weird noises, pull a bunch of weird faces. Like, there's nothing here. And to top it all off, Chelsea Liart has now found herself in beef with one evil queen that we have also covered on this channel slightly in our Alphaba videos because she has just partnered up with Alphaba, defending Alphaba across the internet, but I don't know what's happened. You know, things can change. People are backstabbing each other left and right. It's like the red wedding of TikTok going on right now. So let's just observe one battle here and see what happens. Oh my God. Ah, uh, it just starts off, it just, it, Oh, right, I have to centre myself. I have to centre myself for this to take this. It's like, it really is. It's pure insanity. It really is. But if you're enjoying this video, please be sure, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know who else you want me to cover on this channel. It really, you know, give a... <laughs> because I'm I'm not well-versed in the TikTok sphere, and I'm not even sure who half these characters are until you guys tell me. So let's take a look at this. And what's with a big-ass boil on your Panani EQ? What kind of Panani is that? It's about... Whoa, whoa. And if you're not sure with the lingo, Punani, it's uh, that thing. But man, what? A, a, a boil? I, I don't know. I This is... Okay. Okay, I want to know the reason. I want to know what, what, what Evil Queen did to make her that mad. Yo, your Panani is this wide, man. Have you seen it? Like, what the fuck is on your Panani? You've got your Panani out. Like, don't ever compare to me to these dusty people. You've got a big boil on your Panani, sweetheart. Oh, what is that? Root starling. Disgusting. You're on an app on here. And then you're telling, you're promoting yourself on an app. For, for, and you've got your Panani. I don't think. Chelsea has the right to call anyone dusty, but uh, if if what she's saying there there is true, I'm 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 equally as disgusted already. I don't like the images that are being put in my brain right now. I really don't. But then you want to cause people that get out of your mind. Oh, oh mate, they make me feel sick. Make me feel sick. All these people on this app, they make me want to throw up. <coughs> you know, I'm a lot of things in my life. But that's low, four pounds to see your panani. My days, my God, man. That's like some netto panani. Some quick save. Some quick save. Oh my gosh. It's, this is the world we live in now. It's like whoever can scream and shout the loudest and throw the most insults, you know. That's, uh, that, uh, it's just, that's how you get your rise on TikTok. And if you're good at that, I recommend you go over there and start doing it. Instead of just watching someone like this every day. It's not funny. It's, 
Just sad. Now, if it wasn't interesting enough seeing Elphaba's take on her political activism, now we've got CLA who wants to go to the newspapers and this morning, which if you're not aware, this morning it's uh, it's just it's a morning TV news broadcast that happens in the UK. And, and I wonder why CLA thinks she can make it on there, but let's see. I'm going to the news. I'm going to the newspapers because I'm famous now, so roots. I'm going to the news. I'm going to be on this morning. I'm going to f tell the whole f UK what they've done to me and this and that. And I'm going to make a stand as a TikToker. Go f stand as a TikToker, but you won't make a stand against racism. You're just, it's, it's fickle, it's narcissistic, it's disgusting. I, I can't believe this, man. I can't believe that, I can't believe that we've allowed someone to get famous like this. Yourselves with your protest and all your b****. Now you're going to see Chelsea Lior and watch this. Reeves. I'm going. If everyone that's got my address, police know who you are because I've had to tell them. It's just, is it just this every day? Is it just that it just gets worse and worse and worse? And on that note, I'm going to have to end this video here. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think of Chelsea Liart. Let me know what you thought of the boxing. And uh, really, man, I just, I, I, I just can't believe that there are people like this that are as, as popular as they are. Just like everyone's boycotting McDonald's and Starbucks right now, we need to start boycotting TikTokers because I, I, I really, I just don't want to see my beautiful earth turn into something that that festers this and on that note i've been murray zanny and i will see you in the next one peace